that story from Sturgeon Bay. And then with this milder weather forecast, ice quality and thickness causing some concerns. No doubt about opening day of the Sturgeon Spearing season is this Saturday. Emily Byer joins us now live from Lake Winnebago with what, experience, what the spears down there can expect when it comes to ice conditions. Emily. Bill and Cammie, what a difference a week makes. Last week I was worried about fry, frostbite. This week, not so much. These warmer temperatures sure feel nice, but for people gearing up for the sturgeon smearing season, it's something they're keeping a close eye on. I can't believe they're parking on it, to be honest with you. There's only nine inches right here. The ice thickness varies across Lake Winnebago. With warmer temperatures heading into sturgeon spearing and the big battle on Bago ice fishing tournament, spearers and ice fishermen will have to make do with what they've got. I just told the ice holds up. I mean, we'll be able to take these out for a while, but it is easier when you got your truck. <laughs> We're letting everybody go out with four wheelers and UTVs. I tell everybody there's there are a lot of people going on on the other side of the lake with vehicles. Uh, Don Herman with Sunk Dive and Ice Service says he's seen worse conditions than this. He doesn't expect the warm weather to impact the ice we have already, but we're also not going to see more of it. It will not affect the ice. If you notice, there's like a foot of snow out here. Mm -hmm. Unless we get like a couple inches, it's really not going to do anything. It's going to maybe take the snow down, but it's not going to touch the ice. Herman adds that this is only the second time in his 48 years that they haven't had the vehicle bridges out yet due to our mild temperatures in January. There are UTV and ATV bridges out, but Herman adds to always check with the local fishing clubs to make sure the bridges are open. They sometimes close them due to too many cracks in the ice. Herman adds that it's important to take it nice and slow when crossing over these ice bridges. This is a big thing. I mean, all the fishing clubs know this. And if you're an avid fisherman, you know you have one vehicle on the bridge at a time. You go over it slow, and what happens is people are in a hurry, and one bridge is one guy's going off the bridge, and the other guy's going on the bridge, and you have to stay back, and, th and that's why. We need 12 inches of ice. And as sturgeon spears get ready to head out on the ice, there's always one thing Herman says you always have to remember. You know my saying. Yes. <laughs> the ice is never 100% safe. <laughs> and I can tell you that by sunk. <laughs> So always a good reminder there again, the ice never 100% safe. Herman says that there were more than 13,000 sturgeon spearing licenses sold this year. He still anticipates a lot of diehards out on the ice. He said that he's also had years like this where the ice thickness becomes a concern in some areas and spears just move around and they still seem to do pretty well every year. Sturgeon spearers again, they'll head out this Saturday, 7 a.m. bright and early. They will have 16 days on or until those harvest caps are met. Reporting live from Waverly Beach in Manhattan. Emily Byer, Action 2 News.